If you live a privileged life, then you may not be aware of racism at all. I mean, things can be happening right around you, but your privilege allows you to not know about it. It allows you to ignore it. It allows you to trivialize it. And it, it's sort of like, oh my, we gotta break through that. And hopefully build some kind of feeling that maybe we can work together and make the world a little bit better for everybody. This old school has gone through so many iterations. The Dunbar Coalition was um, instituted to open a school that was a, a segregated school. Why is my name on this? I attended Dunbar oh, from right 1942 to 1950, the year before the school was desegregated. It's funny how I kept our class picture. Our motto was be the best, and it was stressed that we would work, and we would make grades, and we would be prepared to succeed. And as I say, many of us, many of us did. It's like an en engineer, school principal, principal engineer. I just think it, it should stand because we really need to support and be proud of our legacy. Come on, you want to see my first grade room? I think the front of the room was there. Oh, I can, I can think of it. I think I said here. You need organizations that are willing to say, we will reach out. We think you are important. We think this is important to our community. Put it into our pan. And I suggest that we do a historical cookbook. Your recipe's in your packet. There were so many people around who knew Arizona and Tucson's history in ways that people did not. So we wanted to reach out to those people and collect a recipe from them, but also collect a little bit of history and ask them questions. We want uh, folks to learn from each other, you know, work with each other, because we wanted to show that we can be better than we were treated. Having that historical space and just seeing the pictures on the wall, I think that that just reminds you, you do come from somewhere. I even found Tina Gaster. This history is legitimate, it's valid. The whole center exists because of a history that on one hand was very, very difficult, but on the other hand, consisted of people who loved each other, who got together and did amazing, incredible things. And it's a monument to them. This year, we're doing oral histories and documenting people's stories. They'll be kept here at Dunbar and be kept at, in special collections at U of A. And we're simply doing it because every year there's, we're leaving here and we need to document this legacy. I'll show you my, my second home. But we don't want this to turn into something where it's forgotten what it was. I walk these halls and I think it's just my heart. And I believe it's not only me, it's the majority of us that attend it. We still come back. It'll be together again, and then I'll come sit in the corner just for old times' sake. <laughs> Thank you.